Welcome back to Farm and Hammer, everyone. It has been a while since I posted a video, and the uh, main reason for that is work, of course, and I was also on vacation this past week. So yeah, this is my first day back. Got in at about four this morning, and I gotta make sure all the cows are doing okay. I haven't seen them in a week, so I wanna make sure they're all doing fine. Check everything, feed pigs, all that kind of stuff before I head to work. As you can tell, I am in with the dairy cross heifers, the older ones that should be bred. And, um, how are you? Um, they're in this Bermuda field. We put them in here to hopefully graze down the Bermuda before fall hits and it turns brown. Um, and they've done a pretty good job of eating it down. This is what it looks like. A lot of the Bermuda is still, I don't know, eight inches tall. Um, they grazed it down basically to the brown parts and clover is filling in the blanks because we've got some rain in the past week. I think we've got well over an inch in the last eight or nine days. Yeah, more about these heifers. We pulled the bulls out. We had two of the Herford bulls in. Um, they had lower birth weights, but they're both young, so that's why we had two in here. Um, we pulled those out about 15 days ago or so, and so... In 30 days, we will have the vet out, and he will preg check all these heifers. Um, and then whatever is not bred, which hopefully this time they're all bred, the heifers that end up being open will be taken to the sale barn. All of their expenses were covered when I sold the steers out of this group, so um, everything they bring is just straight profit. So um, I won't complain if a few are not bred, because like I said, that's a little extra cash in the pocket, but. Next on the agenda is to take you guys to see the beef herd. Um, the last video I posted, I had mentioned that they were starting to calve, and I think we had four on the ground then. I think there's well over 20 now. And so I'm gonna drive out there, check those, make sure no one's having any trouble calving, and I'll show you guys some new babies. Actually guys, on my way to check the cows, I thought I'd better feed the pigs while I'm here. Still feeding them all this food waste. Mix this up. What's up guys? Long time no see. Looks like they've done some pretty decent damage on this paddock here. Um, it also just rained and that seems to make them want to root a lot more, but... So guys, pigs are all doing great. Um, these two bigger ones, we did try the tape measure method of weighing them, and uh, those two are a little over 150. Then the two smaller ones, 130, and uh, one was 140 something. So uh, they're all growing. These two bigger ones, a little bigger than I expected, honestly. Um, as you guys know, I've never had pigs before, but I didn't think I didn't think he was over 150 pounds, but I guess I'll know for next time. Anyway, they're still getting a lot of milk and protein powder. Um, this mixture of mostly rice and lentils, a little bit of corn, and a little bit of ground up wheat, but um, that's the mix they're getting right now, and of course you saw me dump watermelon. They're still getting some garden scraps. And here in October, they will be getting some pumpkin scraps. So, um, yeah, a lot of garden scraps. We haven't given them 
We haven't spent a dime on feed so far, so that is good. There's a new baby that's been here since I've left. We're gonna sneak up on these two babies right here. Got this guy, he's conked out. Hey there, buddy. Anyway, all the mothers are coming in here because they realize they left their babies with me, so. Got one more up here. This one, this one looks really new. Yeah, this is the newer one. find out here soon. I've also got a baby right there. Let's we'll see which one's hers. This heifer that I told you guys was gonna calve soon in the last video looks like she did calve. And uh, this cow also calved. She had this little red, red white face there. And this heifer's calf would be this one. And I know that because it has a little bit of ear on it. So, and she does as well. Yep, there it is. A little heifer there. Anyway, for a first time heifer, calved at two years old, um, that's exactly what you want to see. She weighs about right at a thousand pounds, I'd say, and she'll start losing weight here because it's her first time and she's not used to used to feeding a calf, but um, she's looking good. And the last thing on the agenda today is to creep feed this group of cows and calves. And uh, I'll explain why we do it here in a minute, but um, I'm gonna dump, I'm gonna dump this bucket of feed and try to get the calves over here. He'll go in there. 
So guys, just a little bit about creep feeding. Uh, for the majority of our animals, we don't creep feed at all. Um, it just so happens that this piece of property, it's secluded, it's by itself. We don't have any other animals near it. It's just a little 40 acre patch and we got 22 cows on it and 24 calves. The reason for that is actually we had one cow that had twins and after the calves got five months old or so, she ended up dying, she got a bad foot, she just couldn't, couldn't keep up. Um, that's why we have a couple extra calves. Um, but because these cows are kind of by themselves and out in the middle of nowhere, we don't get out here and check them as much as we do the other groups. And so the calves tend to be a little bit more wild. And so when it comes to weaning time, we like to be able to get them in this little temporary corral and get them loaded um, as quickly as possible and as stress-free as possible. And it's hard to do it stress-free when the cows are wild and the calves don't know where they're going and don't want to go into the little pen here. So, so to try to minimize stress on us and on the animals, we start creep feeding a couple months before we wean and we give them a bucket of grain once every other day. And slowly but surely the calves find it. And we've still got about, I don't know, probably 12, 12 that haven't figured it out yet. And of course they're all the bigger steers and a few bulls. Um, but the cow that had twins, both her heifers were the first two to find the feed of course, and they're really doing well on feed. So now you just set up this little creep gate. Uh, you can buy these, I don't know exactly how much they are, but just add them to your portable corral here. Um, and calves will eventually find the grain. So I'm gonna try to sneak down here and show you some of the bigger bulls and steers. Of course, they're the ones that are a little more wild. Um, here's a potential future herd sire here. Um, he actually just didn't go in when we worked the calves the last time, but he looks pretty good. We're looking for the two main bulls that we're planning on keeping. Of course, I think both are in the water. Yeah, so that bull there, uh, he's looking really good. Uh, he's definitely going to be one we keep. Um, and see if he grows out well and he'll be a future herd bull. That one there is the other one we kept and he is growing really well. He's not huge, um, but he's wide, stocky, and hopefully will turn into a good bull. So we have three bull calves in here that we can choose from. The rest, like that one, they're all just steers. And uh, we didn't keep any red white face because we don't want any, we don't want any reds, but um, yeah, we got two for sure really good bulls in here and one other potential one.